Hello, welcome to Artisan Quick Tips with Jennifer. I'm Jennifer Wise and Artisan is amazing digital scrapbooking software from a company called Forever. Um, today I'm going to show you how to import digital art that you buy in Forever and put it into your um, Artisan program. Before I do that, hold on, before I do that, I want to show you a few fast facts about Artisan if you are new to Artisan. So if you are, go ahead and pause the recording and uh, read a little bit to learn about Artisan. Down at the bottom, you can see my Forever website and my email address if you have any questions. Okay, so uh, let me show you. I'm gonna go over right to my um, Forever account because I'm going to buy some digital art and download it to Artisan and I'm going to show you how it works. The first thing I want to point out though, before I actually show you my cart, is that to find digital art, you click right here, this button where my mouse is, digital art, and then you can search, it's searchable, um, it'll show you what's on sale and stuff like that. Now, I wanted to point that out, what's on sale. Uh, this is one that I have put in my cart. I'm just about ready to buy it, but I wanted to show you that when you look at digital art, you can put it in your wish list. Um, you can check out a different artisan quick tip for how to do that, or you can add it to your cart. And when you do, which I already have, and when you do, there will be, if it's on sale, a promo code that you can just click copy. And then that way you've already got it for when you um, check out and buy the digital art. Again, you buy the digital art, it downloads directly to your computer. And then from there, you um, put it into Artisan. So let's uh, go to my shopping cart without any further ado. So you can see the chalkboard love add-on that I was just showing you. I'm gonna buy this kit as well. Uh, you can see down here that I, have, um, here's my total and you can see I have 5% off because I am a club um, member. Club is free to join. It gives you 5% off just about everything you buy, including Artisan and uh, it, the, the club dollars, if you will, never expire. So if you put some, you know, X number of dollars in your account, you have a year or a week or five years or however long you want to use them. All right, so that's that's why that uh, little amount is coming off now. What I haven't done is added that coupon code that I just showed you. So now I'm going to paste that in there and you will see some additional um, discounts coming off. This would also be if you are new to forever and you got the $20 um, coupon for opening a brand new account. This is where you would put that as account as well. It's use a, or that code, sorry, use a coupon or promotional code. You'd click that and, and put that in there. And of course you get another $20 coupon anytime you use your referral link and somebody else comes to forever because of you. Um, so you can use that $20 coupon in the same place. So <clears throat> I currently don't have a $20 coupon. Um, and so I am just going to leave it at this. I've got my, my sale price and I've got my club um, discount. So now I'm going to um, click apply club dollars because I'm in the $50 a month club. I'm gonna apply club dollars so that this amount will come out of here. I am going to just pause the recording while I do that and show you what it looks like after that. Okay, so I've gotten to that point. I've made um, the purchase, even though it just came out of my club dollars that I had purchased previously. Uh, and so now I have both of these collections that I, I now want need to download to my computer and then from there put into Artisan. So the first thing I'm, I'm going to do is click download. Now it will automatically download to um, your downloads folder unless you tell it not to. I have a specific place where I like to put it. So again, I'm going to put, pause the recording and put it there. All right, so now I have navigated to where I like to save my um, artisan digital art. So I'm gonna open that and now I will click save. 
So again, it will automatically default to save in your downloads. So if you don't want it to do that, you can set up something different like I did. Otherwise it'll just automatically go to downloads. All right, so now that I've downloaded it to my computer, I'm going to click this copy activation code button. I need an activation code once I open Artisan. So I'm gonna click copy and then navigate over to um, where Artisan is on my computer. All right, so I've opened Artisan. Now I remember that, oh, hold on. I gotta resume my screen share. There we go. New share, Artisan, sorry. How to get over to Artisan, okay, sorry. <laughs> Um, okay, so now that I've opened Artisan, <clears throat> uh, I what I want to do is import content. I could, you can also do it over here at the upper left with manage content, but I'm going to import content. Now, because I purchased that through Forever, it's called a commercial art kit. If you have other art kits that you've purchased elsewhere, you would click personal art kit, but because this one's straight from Forever, I'm clicking personal, or sorry, Clicking commercial. Okay. So that was called chalkboard love add on to. So I select that and then click open. Now it's going to ask me if um, where in artisan I want it to go. It's fine with me if it just goes into commercial art kit. So I'm going to click okay. Now it's installing it. It's taking it from my computer and putting it into artisan. It will always ask. Um, do you want to enter the activation code now? You can't use the art without entering the activation code. So I always click yes. Now all I do is click add a new activation code. Now I'm going to paste control V from my computer because I had copied it before, remember? Click okay and it's all good. Now, when I open my next project, my that, um, art kit will be in it and I will have access to all of the embellishments. And if it had papers, it would have paper. Uh, the other kit that I purchased, that denim one does have paper in it. So I'm gonna go back and um, do the, follow the very same steps now with that kit as well, uh, but you don't have to come along. So anyway, uh, that is how you purchase art in forever download it to your computer, and then um, import it into Artisan so that you can use it in all your projects. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Liking it here on YouTube um, helps other people find it better. And if you'd like to see more, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.